This character is strong, to say the least. Leroy Smith. I don't think he's like OP or anything yet because I haven't mastered him. But from the little, like what's on paper, he's easily like an S tier character. That's just me. What do you guys think? A four or three? No, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. A little bit too slow. I'm trying to see if I can get like a bigger launcher. Oh my goodness. But it depends on when you parry it. Very, very interesting. Yeah, so in short, let's just do a quick summary. Based off of the games that I already played and what you guys have seen, this character is to be respected. You know, pretty much like any other character in the game, but even when you're on your plus frames, you have to respect this character because of so many ways that he can parry you. You know, he's got the back two, that's a really good parry. Down back one plus two. The whole time his hands are moving like that, it's a parry. Ridiculous. Same for um, up four one. Then he's got a um, one two one, which is basically just up four one at the end of the string. Yeah, so he's got that and obvious low parry here. Even though for some reason people just see that, see his leg up and like, I'm gonna go low. And he can obviously go for some strong follow-ups. One plus two being a wall bounce. Yeah, godlike. Wow. So, so good. And plus, you know, he can go for a parry in Hermit's stance with back two. And one, one in Hermit's stance is also a crazy parry. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, he says weak, 34 damage real quick, plus, <laughs> let's turn the uh, detail, I haven't even looked at it yet, detail frame data, cool, plus 28, wow, so you can't do anything, <laughs> no mashing, Uh, you could cancel Hermit with 3 plus 4. Thanks for the tip there, um, Superfly. I didn't even know what you could do besides, like, attack or sidestep. But yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, you see his 10 frame punishment is really, really good. Only plus 3, they have to respect the 4 afterwards. But, um... 27 damage from a 10 frame, that is really, really good. That's above average damage for a punish. For 12 frames, he has 2-2, two, two, 30 damage and plus 7. Really, really solid. 13 frames, he has down forward, 1-4, four, four, plus 6. You know, they have to respect the mix even more so from down forward, 1-4, uh, one, then 1-2-4. One, Three frame difference. And 14 frames, he has 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. Pretty, pretty good. I think it's 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1. Yeah. And that string there is also hit confirmable. You got all day to hit confirm it. Even though it's quick, you know, you can hit confirm it pretty easily. And 15, down for 2, 1. So all of the negative frames, this character covers it as far as his standing now for his while rising launch you know punishment not really the best he's got a meager while standing for he doesn't have the big boy while standing for that's um 20 damage or any like while standing for for tsunami kicks or anything
but at 13 frames he gets while standing 1-4 which is just like down forward 1-4 but you know just coming from crouch and he has to settle for that pretty much until um let's let's turn the um, the blocking out because i'm not sure if this string is no nah, it's not a natural combo see this is a 14 frame knee but he doesn't get anything free afterwards you just have to do the plus seven so from crouch he has something you know for negative 11 and negative 12 while standing four then 13 and 14 is while standing one four then 15 you know he gets a launch which is pretty pretty good only uh negative 14 on block so a lot of characters with launching while standing twos that crumple stun like this they're usually negative 15 like think shaheen or kazuya um negan leroy's is different um yeah so oh that's right that's right thanks for that tip um What's that, Nassau? Yeah. His up forward 3 plus 4 is just like Law's. It doesn't launch, but look at the speed. 14 frames. So if he blocks something that's negative 14, like a low. I'm trying to think, like King's, um, let's let's go to, a, to King. King's 4-4 um, four, four neutral 2. Yeah, and that's... You know, as a king player, it kind of hurts my soul that my best low can be punished so hard by quite a few characters. Yeah, you can go for the 35 knockdown, and you can go for the 30 plus 6. <laughs> so that is pretty dope. Yes, excellent punishment. Excellent. So if there was, out of five, I would say his punishment is at least a 4.5. Because the, the only thing that's keeping it from being a five out of five is the fact that range is definitely a factor. Like sometimes one plus two does not hit. Like against Steve, like Steve's uh, ducking two, it whiffs sometimes. I'm like, that's your 14 frame Punisher. Otherwise, you're missing out on damage going for this. 35 as opposed to, you know, 56. And, you know, that's that's pretty much great for punishment. 4.5 out of 5. Then we want to talk about his offense. I think his offense is um, a little bit above average. Mainly because he has, you know, so many counter hit tools to sway you from hitting buttons. Even an 11 frame, look, back one has decent, decent range. But on counter hit, he gets a hard knockdown for 50 damage. That's the same damage as a King Muscle Buster. Yeah. It's like he, he kills you for hitting buttons, and he also kills you for not hitting buttons. Look at the plus frame moves. He's he's got a uh, let's let's um turn this back on. Four four three plus one. Don't know why a move so good is plus one. Let me uh try to get this combo just to show you guys why it's so good. I can't get it. So tough but this is a launcher against King you see that that's ridiculous damage 73 and I dropped it so it's plus it's homing of course it's high but it goes under jabs it goes under highs so what an ultimate approach tool that's why I was saying, like, offensively, really good. Because he can get in on anybody quite easily. With that one move, and if you want to mix it up, you know, he does have a pretty far-reaching back four. 
a homie mid. 17 frames, so that's pretty fast. And he's got up for it um, two, which is really, really good. It doesn't track so well. It can definitely be stepped. But if the opponent is so afraid of full four three, you're gonna land this for free. Yeah, he's got ultimate approach to us, so. Uh, 